all right guys let's see the next one weak isolation on dual use endpoint okay what does it say this lab makes a flawed assumption about the user's privilege level based on their input as a result you can exploit the logic of its account management features to gain access to arbitrary users accounts uh, to solve this lab access the administrator account and delete carlos so it is also kind of a privilege escalation kind of thing okay so the exploit is an account management feature hmm let's see what it is okay we do not have much here i think uh, we need to just log in my account winner and peter okay okay i'm in my account and uh, okay so updating email doesn't make anything okay so here we have a password change functionality hmm interesting so what we will do is instead of a uh, winner let's keep administrator whoa 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 why is it typing in reverse okay okay so this is what we want right but we do not know any current password of uh, administrator so what we will do is just uh, leave it blank let's see astf astf okay so this is the new password and confirm password okay the same thing and uh, let's try to change the password using this okay let's click on this okay there is a client side control which doesn't allow us to uh, move forward without any password okay without any current password okay so it did not even reach uh, the burp suite okay so it did not even reach the burp suite so we have to type something in order to change the password okay so we should not keep it blank this is uh, only on the client side okay this is only on the browser this is not on the web application okay so let's send this as you might have expected current password is incorrect but as you can see something happened here right so your username th is this but the password is incorrect hmm interesting so our username is not this because uh, as we can see this is our username but let's see what happened in the burp suite okay so this is the post request that uh, that is being sent when we click on this change password okay so let's send it to repeater let's see the request what happened here okay we do have some session this is uh, normal and we have a csrf token that is also normal and here we have a username equals to administrator and we have a current password we don't know the password for administrator right so what if we remove this one okay so let's remove this and keep only this part which means uh, i just kept it blank so i just kept astf and astf okay so this is what exactly i am seeing in the request okay so administrator is the username new password one okay new password two okay so these two things so let's send this and see if it accepts okay all right it seems to be accepting our uh, weak isolation so let's see this in the browser okay let's copy let's open a new tab and as you can see password change successfully so the main thing we need to identify is we just need to clear this uh, client side controls okay so once we pass this browser and once we get into proxy okay we can simply intercept and change whatever we want okay something like this not like this let's keep something here so let's intercept off let's hit enter you can just simply remove this current password okay and if you forward this you will be able to change the password for the administrator okay so now as you can see you have already changed the password so what you will do now is uh, let's go to my account this time let's log out let's log into administrator and here we know the password as asdf and uh, let's hit login and as you can see this simple bypass was able to bring us administrator access okay so i'm hitting on a admin panel and i'm deleting carlos okay right i hope you get it and i'll see you guys in the next one